In Moscow's Manesh Square, tourists and storeholders haggle over the price of souvenirs. A small-scale metaphor for the wrangling that's been going on between the Kremlin and the White House over the fate of Syria's chemical weapons. Despite the smiles and chit-chat from Barack Obama at the G20 summit in St. Petersburg, it was Vladimir Putin who was centre stage, and he knew it. Just look at his barely concealed exasperation as he waited for his audience of world leaders to settle down and listen to him. Russian MP Vyacheslav Nikonov knows Putin well and says Syria shows him in his pomp. Putin now is one of the most experienced politicians on earth. Uh, he has been around for quite a while. Uh, he knows international politics very well. Uh, and it was his initiative uh, which he expressed during his short meeting with Obama in St. Petersburg during the G20 meeting. All this from the same man that brought us these toe-curling images of bare-chested bravado on horseback and burnished his macho credentials astride a huge motorbike. Like Russia's famous Matryoshka dolls, Vladimir Putin, it seems, is not quite what he first appears to be. He's not simply the KGB strongman turned president. No, here in Russia, he's also viewed as the supreme Kremlin operator. And now, of course, we know he's seen on the global stage as the great international peacemaker over Syria. Who knows? In the end, history may say that Vladimir Putin was the man who saved Barack Obama from himself. This is what they're worried about. Peter Lavelle, an American presenter for Russia's Kremlin-friendly English-language news channel, RT, says Putin has completely outmaneuvered the U.S. president. Putin's the chess player and Obama's the checkers player. But you have to remember, judo is Putin's game. And he's very, in judo, you have to be patient and you have to look for weakness and then you strike. And I think he's going to continue down that path. I hope the Obama people can get their act together because this is a crisis of leadership in the United States. It's just not good, smart, um, uh, foreign policy diplomacy on the part of the Russians. As the Syria crisis rolls on, Barack Obama must be hoping that he and we have now seen all the geysers of Vladimir Putin. David Bowden, Sky News, Moscow.